It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the NFC North. It's the Packers and the Lions. And it comes your way next. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work. Aaron Rodgers leading them. What a career it's been. Came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. Rodgers now on first down. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there. Second down. It's Rodgers. He finds his man complete. That's Flowers. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A little over 20 yards there, and in two plays, they've now moved the ball over 60 yards. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Jones. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. The numbers for Jones last week. 20 carries, 90 yards, and a touchdown. That's a good start to the season. They got the win, and they were able to establish a good running game. Nothing that just blew people away. And it's a Packers touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and through, and that makes the score 7-0. A drive that time of six plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. Williams now on the return. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. 
And he comes off an incredible performance in the opener. Five touchdown passes. Now look, you always want to start strong. I think that's more than anyone, including himself, could have expected. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. On the option to give to Swift here. The numbers for him from a week ago. 11 carries, 53 yards. Well, watching the film, we saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to him early and often in hopes of breaking down. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Kuhn, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw into the hands of Cobb. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Well, this defense for the Lions, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. To throw is Rodgers. Caught left side by Cobb. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven. They're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Now a first down carry by Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Caught on the right side by Jones. Touchdown! Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to seven. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know that makes them. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, 
point away from tying this thing up. Well, we saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. On well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back there and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. But well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And some room to roam now. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet. Running plays that are working and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. Goes without saying the defense is going to have to adjust to it. In a big way. And they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run? Or can they just do it better? better than what they've done so far. On second and nine, Rodgers. Oh, going deep here for Taylor. And this one incomplete. No, I couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. This one swung out here to Jones. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They'll run it with Jones. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Jones. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Throwing on second and eight. Rodgers, his throw incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. 
So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. That's I true. mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's a cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And some room to work. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his left. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Jones again. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's doing his job, but the bottom line, they're losing. They've got a deficit to make up here, and he knows it. And quarterbacks who last in this league learn that lesson really early. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. Big hold of the 30. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A gain there of 21 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. And all the way down to the five. 
big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush, and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. It's their quarterback. His third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, because he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield, try to find a receiver, or you tuck it and go? And I think he's, there's going to be some growing pains with that. I think in this case, he made the right decision. And we know he's got the speed. He showed it there. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out, and he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. From the 27, Rodgers caught by Cobb. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Rodgers to Cobb, good for a Green Bay first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Aaron Jones, the ball carrier. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 81 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Now Rodgers, a free play. Throw left side complete. That's Burton. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. After the penalty, it's Jones. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and six. Rodgers now to throw. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. 
Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The way he's been slinging it in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got the way to try to pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Yeah, he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. This is caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. You know, normally he's probably happy with how he's playing. He's playing pretty well, but in the second quarter, you look up your team's losing. I don't think any quarterback's satisfied. Not at all, and what they're really seeking is, how do I play even better and inspire my teammates to do exactly the same in order for us to get back on top on the scoreboard? That's when you find out you have a quarterback. If they're just satisfied with their stat line, they're not really a leader. Not at all. You just have a guy playing the position. Here's a second and seven. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on His teammates going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's we'll see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half, I mean, that just didn't happen. To throw on second and ten. Rodgers. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He's got this one complete to Rodgers. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now Jones. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Touchdown! Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers add six to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. 
Second. Now back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Packer pressure, and down he goes. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. 20, 10, and he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. And so that's about as fortuitous of a bounce as you're going to find as it's scooped up and taken in for the touchdown. I love how you use the word fortuitous there because as that popped up, he just happened to be in the right place, grabbed it, and found his way into the end zone. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, and it's the Patriots with the lead in that one. Mac Jones with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, let's get down to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And things didn't work out for them as they fall to the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Miles Sanders, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And right now they have the lead over the visiting New York Giants. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. And on now to a check on the next-gen stats in that first half for the Packers. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Lions, you take a look at what their quarterback was able to accomplish on the ground. And he'll likely need to step things up a bit with his guys trailing on the scoreboard. These two coaching staffs likely going through their final adjustments for the second half. One of these teams is going to merge 2-0. But who will it be? To find out, let's go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two score. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. First down. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Second and 14. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack. But the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. Touchdown, Detroit! A great play there. His third touchdown of the game, his eighth of the year. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. 
The evidence was right there. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. From the 27, Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got Burton here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 94 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Throwing on second and three. Rodgers setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Running right, Jones. Evades the tackler and now some space. The 20. And he'll go out of bounds finally at the seven. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers on fire, his fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Packers add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. We got this. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. They'll set up to throw. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Rashawn Gary able to get him for a loss of about three. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw here. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 47.
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Oh, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay, so when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player, putting stats in every column. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They'll look to throw. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And they'll get him down right around the 16. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. This is caught by Robinson, and he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Swift, looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Their mobile quarterback with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is down to a field goal. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Rodgers. That's caught right side by Amari Rodgers. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feel pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Zadarius Smith able to put it into that play and in so doing puts an end to this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Nifty move. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. The Packers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's complete to Cobb. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. So out now come the Lions. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to thank the guys on D. That fights through one man. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. He'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the third. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Throwing his 
Rodgers. This one into the hands of Burton. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Over the middle, and that's caught by Rodgers. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. And there you go, Rodgers to Rodgers. First down, Packers. On first down, Jones. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. Got a man able to find Rodgers. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 40. Past the 20. 10, 5, and into the end zone. A scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down the field? So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second down, it's Jones. 146 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the gun, it's Rodgers. That is caught by Cobb. And it's a Packer touchdown. Randall Cobb, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Packers have retaken the lead. They do tack on the extra point as well. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. On the return, Williams. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So now the Lions down on the scoreboard. A minute 53 remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, 
Wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. You <laughs> got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Back to throw. We're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll look to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. He's back to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Probably at 60,000 if they can pass. throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll run with Swift. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. And with four seconds remaining, they will call the timeout. So just enough of a cushion there to bring on the field goal unit and try to send this one to the extra session. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with what most likely will be the game-winning touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. 